seen you guys for like so long okay so I'm just in my front step don't mind the pink slipper because my kids lost it so sorry I'm getting like Texas um I'm leaving it there until we find the pair I think it dropped down down the stairs so if you guys remember there's my stairs okay so it's a pretty steep stairs like when you look at my house it seems like it's five stories because it's pretty high but um it's just that we live on a major major hill and i'm constantly looking at this but the camera's like right here but don't mind me um okay so what's going on with me um i don't know i've just been so busy you guys are hearing the you guys are hearing like the ferry traffic i live you guys know i live by the ferry and if you guys are um not familiar with ferries is ferries is a big old boat that that can <laughs> that um that cars can go in and it goes from one island to another and so um across um the water is another island so um where we live it gets very popular with the ferry traffic so right now the ferry ferry traffic we call it ferry traffic um the ferry just came in and started unloading anywho <laughs> took me forever to explain that but um i haven't vlogged in a while so i know you guys have been messaging me and asking me diane are you okay kids just got out of school too so i hear um hi babe there's hubby <laughs> i'm supposed to be helping him fix the garage but um i'm finally getting a day off i'm finally getting a day off i've been so busy I've, i'm busy with sensi i'm busy with um, my full-time job i'm busy with my part-time job i'm busy with my side hustle i'm just busy working and then i'm busy with the family because you know you guys know my little baby girl danica she's my baby she's my favorite although all my kids are my favorite but she's my my most favorite at the moment because she's the baby but she started she started school like a month ago and you guys have not seen me you guys have not seen me for like a month so i'm just doing a little vlog to catch up with you guys how are you what you doing and you know what i've been so busy during the summer that i wanted to do um ipoheke so i have some ipoheke um like a this are squash gourds um i have not even done it so i want to do that with my girls um you know my girls dances hula hubby dances hula so i want to do that i still haven't had the time right now we want to work on the garage because um we're still renovating the house it's a work in progress wow it's like really loud and you guys i you guys i don't like to show my face on my vlogs but i don't know how people can like hold up their camera for so long because right now it's just oh i've only been talking for three minutes oh okay just seems like i've been talking forever but um they're doing the stairs where we play we we, we took out all the carpets from the house when we first moved in about two and a half i think two and a half years ago i don't know how long now so we took out the carpet ourselves hubby and i oh god taking out carpet especially if it's an older home it's such a hard work because we were already living in the house and so it was too chaotic for me I, I can't do it i have i have ocd issues i have issues i i'm a problematic child i have issues i can't think when there's such a mess and and I'm trying so hard not to let that overcome me because of the kids. You know, I have an 18, I have a 16, I have a 10, and I have a 4. And I don't want them living in my issues. I don't know if that makes sense. I have issues. <laughs> so, like, my, stu my space, my living room and my studio is currently my space in the house. So, I don't like messes there. They can, get, they can make messes elsewhere but my studio and my living room if they make a mess then i become cranky and agitated um oh so and just because i have issues like that i don't want them living 
like that. I just want them to take up, um, not take up, look out, no. Pick up after themselves, you know, into their own space. But we did, oh, the kitchen. Oh, I need to show you guys the kitchen. So the kitchen, I did the cabinet. I painted it black. I, um, oh my gosh, this is, <laughs> vlogging is like such hard work. I need those selfie stick. Uh, Miranda, my eight-year-old said I better not come yo her conference. Oh, sorry. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, kitchen. We we tiled. I did a subway tile with black grout. I can show you a little bit of that. Um, I painted my cabinets black. It used to be that uh, oak um, honey with very deep varnish. So I took that out and it took me forever to varnish it, but I went ahead and did it. I still need to glaze it one more time. And then the other cabinets I need to glaze as well. I know I'm not looking at the camera. It's just kind of weird. And then we we did subway tile and then we did our sauna upstairs. Our sauna we just use as a storage. But now we cleared it out and that's going to be my home office because I'm going to be working from home on my regular full-time job um, in a few months. So I just want to make sure that gets ready. But um, is that? What is that? Oh, that's... Look. What is that? Oh, okay, so that's my view. This is this is what I'm looking at. And I'm surrounded by trees here in the Pacific Northwest. So it is October, I don't know, October, I don't even know my days. It's, it's a Thursday, but it's my Friday. And it's October, I think, 18. And usually we get like cold weather by now. Well, it is cold, like especially at night, it gets kind of cold. But it's, we've been having like a weird weather, like record high. We haven't had rain in about a week. So I'm waiting for the rain. I like the rain. I'm over the, the sun. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. I know like my hand in there is in the way, but it's hard to hold the camera. Um, so that kitchen renovation, kitchen's pretty much done. Um, there was a... I know I remember telling you guys that there was a hole in our kitchen um, right by the dishwasher we had a leak that was a few months ago I think that was midsummer I don't remember right before summer but anyways we still need to go get the cabinet to replace it and now that because the reason that it has not been replaced with the cabinet oh, okay so ferry traffic is gone now I can talk like normal see how it's quiet when there's no cars on the road but once there's cars, it's so loud. Okay. Um, but yeah, so there's a hole um, right underneath my countertop on the um, by my my um, sliding door, not sliding door, the French doors to my kitchen. If you guys watch my vlogs, that one has a hole because the cab we we had to remove the cabinet to see the damage of the water onto the wall, through the wall. <laughs> So there was some water damage, but they came in and fixed it. And good thing there was no mold or anything. They just, they just basically fixed the pipe. And so that's done. I just need to replace it because it, once I replace the cabinet, we have custom cabinets in there that they put. So it doesn't match with the cabinet that we'll find at Home Depot or Lowe's. Um, and then when it's not matching, it's going to drive me crazy. So that's why it's still a hole there because I don't, I haven't figured out what I'm going to do. For now, I just want to paint my countertop. And you guys notice that I have like a black and white countertop. I just painted that. I painted over my laminate countertop. And it's so easy to paint it. I just use, um, I just use chop paint. And then I, um, I use like a matte varnish to, to seal it. So I want to finish the rest of that because now the backsplash is done. Uh, we replaced the um, microwave. So our microwave before was very thick. So it was barely like, um, I couldn't cook like tall pots cause then it would get in the way. So now it's a thinner microwave. So I have more room for my cooking. I am, to be honest, like we're doing renovations but we're doing it just to beautify the home because we want to sell this house maybe in two years when Danielle graduates high school to be closer down more South Seattle. We're a bit more North. Um, whew, it's so hard it's so hard mm. 
and then now we're just gonna fix up the garage today so pretty much yeah that's all i've been doing but i wanna i wanted to stop by here and give you guys a quick update i do have two sensi boxes that um that just got delivered which i was surprised because those were my those were my sensi boxes um today's friday during the flash sale that happened monday so i ordered that monday and then it was already here so those are my like christmas presents my giveaways that sometimes you know i i do send out um gifts to my customers without announcing it and i usually get those during my um the flash sale so during flash sales i do stock up because there's like warmers for like eight dollars twelve dollars fifteen dollars so it's really um a nice nice time to be able to stock up on my scentsy warmers and gift them out um to my customers that do order um that and then i went to see lola today so i took her out to lunch and it's so cute maybe i'll insert some pictures in here that we took with lola but um lola is my mom but lola means grandma in philippines in tagalog so the kids call her lola but hubby and i also call her lola so she lives like maybe 20 minutes 20 miles north of me but because of my schedule and because of traffic sorry um i don't get to visit her often which makes me sad because you know um the kids adore lola and i i currently i i have like less free time to be able to be on the freeway because if i don't go visit her in the morning by the time afternoon comes it uh, a 30 minute drive in the afternoon would take me two hours so um so i took her out we went to the casino up there took her out for some asian cuisine lunch and she did remind me to buy the lotto because apparently lotto is like 538 million now so i gotta make sure to do that and i i need to go back into i don't i don't want to say like walk walking or keto i need to go back into my lazy keto because i really did enjoy it when i was doing keto for like maybe 30 days and then um because of the work schedule that was so hectic and um the 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 time that i was working it wasn't um beneficial for me well, i have no excuse i should have just done it I'm making excuses and I shouldn't I just I just want to go back into it because I did like it so I was doing lazy keto and I actually lost like 10 pounds in a month um, because I, I limited myself on carbs I barely had any carbs and that included bread and rice because I'm Filipino I, I gotta have my rice I gotta have rice I can't eat salads all the time I cannot I gotta have crunch on my food um, but I do want to get back into it because I re I noticed, not realized, but realized and noticed when I was on keto, I did have a little bit more energy, just a little bit more, and I liked it. Um, I noticed that carbs does does slow your your metabolism down. So that and plus I'm getting older. I'm almost fifty, guys. I gotta get rid of that pink slipper, <laughs> driving me bananas. Okay um we have our milk delivered so i'm gonna put it inside let me show you guys my boxes so hi lovely what babe where's my camera my what okay how do i guys how do i do what my love okay how do i <gasps> I'm trying to do the the camera oh no that's not what i want oh i don't know okay so here's my two boxes because apparently i can't flip my iphone around um these are just for the flash sale i have another box coming so i want to share that with you guys and and that's about it so i just want to go ahead and end this now I've been talking for 14 minutes. I kind of like using this this phone. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just noticed like I'm, I'm all fixing my hair because I'm looking at myself. I'm sorry. That was kind of rude of me. But that's all. I just wanted to just come up and say hi. Aloha, friends. I have missed you. And I don't know why I have... Oh, do I have filters on my phone now? 
oh my gosh how oh oh you can brighten it hi i don't know how to i'm very technology challenged my kids know more about my phone when it's not working i just call hubby or my kids it's like ah, i can't fix my phone oh hi my love that's danica hi baby and that's it friends yes my love okay she said don't talk too loud um that's all just checking up on you guys telling you guys what i have been uh, up to very been busy with my jobs i have so many jobs that i'm so busy i have my full-time job which i'm committed to and the other jobs i have are just you know uh thankfully just like online like youtube you guys so i have been neglecting you guys because i have been so focused on my full-time i have been neglecting sensi um because i have been focused on my full-time job so i've gotten um uh i think two recruits in since i talked with you guys about my sensi so hi girls welcome to sensi family you guys are gonna love it um you guys uh, come over here on my channel and you know watch the the haul that i do and that's the reason that i show you guys haul or scent of the month to share with you guys because you're my customer but also because my teams are all over the place so i have a girl in um vegas i have a girl in california i have a girl up here in washington up north from me or up north down the road <laughs> not down the road like she's like 15 minutes away but i never see her i i i haven't seen her in like four months because of our schedules and then i have one um florida i had one in florida she's no longer with us um and then i think oregon 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 so my um the girls in my team are like all over the place they're not local so me creating um me creating the sensi videos onto my youtube channel actually connects us and so if you guys are just here for like my vlog hi i haven't vlogged i don't vlog my kids anymore because i was actually vlogging for the sake of the family seeing the kids when we used to live in california once we moved here to washington two years two and a half i have stopped vlogging the kids and plus um they don't want to be in the camera anymore none of them but then i stopped that because now we're seeing our families um i do i do recipes but i just haven't had the time and that's all i want to just really focus my channel on is just recipes and sharing my sensi love with you guys and then um um tutorials for the my team because i do want to help them out succeed into their um sensi business and and this way um, i'm able to share what i know or what i have uh, with them and then they can share it with their customers um oh and then i have another part-time side hustle which is kind of hard but um i guess i guess i can tell you guys with that one it's through amazon but it's just part-time and the nice thing with that is because i create my own schedule like I'm off today and tomorrow so then today our the schedules comes out and they're like oh you know what I want to work tomorrow so I put in my schedule for tomorrow in the morning and and then that's it I'm like you know what um and then after that I just want to focus on my full-time job because it's it takes um it's in downtown like South Seattle and I actually have to be out of my house two hours before my shift starts so that takes up a lot of my time and that's the reason that I haven't been I haven't been with you guys is because I've been commuting to work <laughs> and out of everything else I think that's the most stressful because it's so I'm very anxiety driven I guess when I have to be somewhere so if I'm supposed to be at work at 1 I need to be physically there at 12 30 or 12 o'clock actually one hour then I feel like okay I can relax now what can I do Oh, I'm bored I don't you know I don't start my work until another 45 minutes but still I'm right there I don't like to be too far away from where I need to be so I think that's my um, my whole issue of of this commuting to work thing but other than that oh you want to see my kitchen really quick okay All right, I'll show you my house is a mess but you guys know it's always a mess it's always a mess I got kids okay i gotta figure out how to flip this phone Hold on. okay so i just went ahead and stopped recording and just um showed you guys 
a different view. <laughs> I don't know how to work my phone. All right, so this is, there's the, the refrigerator. So this is what we did. We did the, um, I did the cabinet. You see how I need to, um, this one is, I touched it up and now I gotta glaze it. I gotta touch it up. But, um, so it's dirty. It's not dirty, it's paint. It's the black paint or the grout, but it's okay because I wanted to paint the wall. So now my next project is to paint my kitchen. And I want it to be a lighter color because when we bought the house, they used this for the outside walls and the inside walls. So I'm really tired of the, the color. I want it to be like a soft white grayish blue, like my studio, um, to make the colors pop up a bit more. And so that's gonna be my next project is painting the walls. So I'm sorry about the, the ugly, ugly wall. But we did this and I think the hubby did like an amazing job with it. Um, him and I just did it ourselves. We, we subway tiled it and then we put um, dark um, grout. And then my next project also is to paint my countertop. And if I turn around, this is the island. Um, sorry. The kids were just having a snack. Um, this island used to be the same color as the other one. So let me take you back again. You see how it's blue? This is blue laminate and then it has this, um, this was the same color as our cabinet too and then I painted it, um, I painted it black. And blue laminate, don't look at the ugly floor. And then I painted this, um, this is, I made it look like, um, what do you call that? Like, um, not granite. Um, what do you call that? You guys know what I'm talking about. I can't find my words right now. Uh, like a marbling effect to the countertop. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this through, throughout the countertop um, areas instead of replacing it. Because I don't think we can replace it until maybe next next summer. All right. So I just walked over here. Um, thank you guys for stopping by, for letting me uh, chit chat with you guys for a little bit, catching up. I don't know what is going on. Oh, there we go. Uh, for letting me catch up with you guys of what I've been up to. Um, as always, I appreciate every love you guys send me. Um, you guys message me word like, Diane, I haven't heard from you. Are you okay? I am okay. Thank you. Um, just very, just doing my thing. Just doing life with the family. Okay? Mahalo, friends. <laughs>